everyone, I'm back for another review for the uh, Full Chrome Racing One wheel set. Um, just purchased at uh, La Bicicleta at the New Year's Day sale. So just finally getting a review on them. I've ridden them for um, only about a month ago since the snow has melted. So um, yeah, probably, you know, four or five hundred clicks on them. Um, really love the wheels. They're incredible. They have the, um, a two-way fit, meaning they take uh, both clincher tires and the tubeless. Um, I just have the clinchers that um, came with them actually right now, just some Michelin Pro 3 races, which I've never used before. But um, they threw them in on the, the deal, so uh, you know, I'm just going to try them out, and so far so good. Um, but the wheels, uh, just incredible. Really light, a lot lighter than what I was using. Um, I just had, um, you know, some Shimano R10s that came with the bike. So the wheels are obviously, it's no secret, are the best upgrade you can make. And um, I would recommend that if you're thinking of adding to your bike, your road bike. It's always the wheels that are going to make a huge difference in your riding. And um, tires are actually a cheap way as well, because tires obviously meeting the road. Um, yeah, they can make a big difference too, so get yourself some good tires. So as far as the wheels, um, if you don't know, Fulcrum is like a sister brand of Campagnolo, which um, fits the SRAM and Shimano uh, hub styles. So Campy wanted to get in on that market. And um, they're made in the same Italian factory as Campy, and um, same quality, and um, yeah, so that's really kind of drew me, drew me to them. Um, you know, Campy, the history, the lore, I've always kind of always wanted to use them, but, um, you know, price and whatever, I've always had Shimano style bikes. And, um, or SRAM, SRAM stuff, so um, this was like really perfect and I really never really um, I didn't know about Fulcrum that they were campy until uh, till the guys at the bike shop told me so I was really happy and um, yeah I guess this is the second um, from the top but the racing zeros I think are the the very high end and then there's the racing ones and I think it goes five and seven, but I'm not sure, so don't quote me. And um, yeah, very lightweight. I uh, can't remember exactly what it, I think they're around 1300 grams uh, for the pair. So not, um, not the very lightest, I guess, like, you know, carbons or zips or anything, but for the, you know, aluminum clinchers, they're, they're very light. You can see the spokes are, um, you know, the flat style, which kind of looks really cool. And the, the groupings, the sort of the pairs of three on the back. And then the front rim, which I will show you in a bit, um, is um, the more standard, I guess, spoke pattern. But um, so as far as looks, they, you know, look really good. And then riding um, on just the hills, it's just such a major difference it just climbs through hills not up them right so the hills is basically in descending where you're going to notice the quality of high-end rims um, you know on the websites people are going to talk about lateral stiffness and stuff like that I'm really no pro so I'm I'm not going to BS you I I really don't know what to look for for that sort of thing so I'm just an amateur opinion that they climb hills better. Now, if that means they're laterally stiff or whatever, I don't know. So, um, yeah, and descending, just the speeds, because, um, you know, most guys or girls have uh, speedometers and stuff. I have a, a cycle meter app on my iPhone that I use to track speeds. So, like, uh, certain hills I would know I could get up to, like, 51 kilometers an hour. And so I would kind of know the threshold of my old rims. And these are, like, 
<clears throat> excuse me, five to ten clicks higher at every point. Um, yeah, so they really descend well and they really roll fast, uh, <laughs> as you would say. And um, yeah, they're really, I couldn't be happier. They're incredible. Um, so yeah, um, I'm just going to grab the camera and sort of show you a little closer, so I'm sorry it's going to jerk around a bit, and I will show you the front rim, as you've just been staring at a standard picture here. So there's, you know, close up, I don't know if you can see the spokes here. There's the rest of the bike. Sorry for this poor cinematography here. So here's the spoke pattern of the front. Um, so just kind of your standard um, spoke layout. Uh, let me count. Mm -hmm. Just 16 or 18 spokes? I don't know. You can count. So, yeah, and also I should point out you can see kind of the hubs here. So, not only are they um, two way compatible for like tubeless tires if you want to use those, but you can see the, the bolt there. Um, they're easily serviceable to add ceramic bearings if you want those. So, um, you know, those are pricey. But if it's, you know, something you want, they're, um, you know, they people say it's like riding with a tailwind. They roll so much quicker, but I'm just an amateur, so I probably wouldn't um, invest in that. But that's, you know, another added feature. They really, um, they go all out in the, the upgrade. You could add ceramic bearings and have tubeless tires. Or, you know, you could use clinchers and just a standard, so... It's actually pretty cool. All right, well, I'm going to wrap up my review. If you have any questions or comments about them, feel free to email me or leave a comment, and I will get back to you. Safe riding out there.